Hello everyone, welcome to my Metal Gear Solid 5, a Phantom Pain, S rank, no traces walkthrough for episode 5, Over the Fence. Uh, this is a, another, and I will, I'm going to say this a lot. This is another fun mission for me. I had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, if you keep watching the videos I'm, you know, I'm making here. Uh... I have a lot of fun sneaking into these uh, these bases with no traces. It, it's just so much fun for me. But real quick, you can see that they put mines down there, so make sure to watch for the mines. Um, another thing you might see is that I'm doing this at night. And, you know, things change night and day in this game, obviously. But, it, you know, it really is a difference. If it's night or day. I mean, some missions that you'll see that I've done, I do in the day. Um, and they're easier in the day for some reason. Uh, but then certain missions are just better at night. I mean, it does add so much to your camouflage as well, the nighttime. And having the good camouflage match the terrain you're on also helps. Of course. Um... But yeah, I mean, night and day, I mean, it's totally different. I mean, so this mission is probably be, it will be different in the day. I mean, it'll be similar, I think. I think this mission's kind of similar in the day. But for whatever reason, uh, it was at night. Probably because I usually choose ASAP. Normally, um, I just choose ASAP. It, you know, I don't usually choose night or day. Um, sometimes I've done it, but... But you can see, night and day, you know, it it does matter. It really does. As you can see, I'm, I'm actually crawling. I probably could have snuck up behind that guy there. Uh, it probably would have been very easy to just do that and tell him to get down. I really wanted to do this no traces. A lot of these missions, I really wanted to do no traces on most of them anyway. Um... But then, I probably could have kept crawling. But then I noticed that this guy starts walking towards me. And I was like, oh gosh, he's going to see me. I don't think he would have saw me. Um, but then I, I go back. Which was surprising when I watched this over. I was like, I didn't realize I went back. And I actually tell him to get down. Now there's a funny thing here. I tell him to get down. And look, D-Dog... <laughs> D dog basically punches him. I thought for I thought that he was going to get alerted when he did that. Like I was like, oh no, you know, I, I I freaked out for a second because I thought D dog screwed it up for me, but it, he didn't. He got down, so it was okay. Uh, and make sure you stay down here. This there's a guy in here. Uh, who has pretty good eyesight. Uh, but as long as you stay prone. And you stay down. I don't think he can see you. And the camouflage helps as well. But the one, another thing about this guy. Is that. It seemed like every time I tried this. He would never get down for me. When I would hold him up. He would never get down. He would challenge me. Every time. But for some reason. I used. A, a, actual like a gun. Uh, that's a damage weapon instead of the Trank Pistol. For some reason, he got down. Uh, and made this No Traces run possible. Because sometimes he will challenge you. Most of the time, for me, he did. He challenged me, and it would forfeit the No Traces bonus because then you immediately have to grab him and choke him out. And that will forfeit your No Traces bonus if you have to engage him in some way. So, a lot of the time he challenged me. and But that time, for some reason, he did not. Uh, so keep that in mind, guys. That if you hold them up, automatically check to see if you can get them down or not. If there is no option to get them down, you have to grab them and choke them out. Because they are going to challenge you. They, they will turn quickly and try to stab you. And then you will, they will cause an alert. So keep that in mind. Uh, but don't Fulton that guy around here because they will see you uh so make sure you take him away a little ways away down here is good drop him 
and then Fulton him immediately. And then make sure to just book it. Just get out as fast as possible. Keeping right right to the rocks here, you should be good. Because I've done this run numerous times. I've never been seen doing this route like this. Ever. Uh, unless there might be like a truck on the road, then maybe. Uh, but you can see there, they're actually like getting suspicious of something. Like they're going to go on an alert. And I thought for sure when I was running down here, I was like, well, there goes my no traces bonus. But you know what? Even though they actually start to go on an alert... I still get the no traces bonus. So So I was actually surprised <laughs> when they go on alert right there. But I get the no traces. So but yeah guys, that's gonna be it. Uh very fun mission. In and out quick. Uh, but that will do it for me guys. Uh make sure you give a like. Thanks a lot guys. Take it easy.